Hey everyone, this is Sam from Prism Scroll with the Prism Scroll progress update. So this weekend I kind of alluded to the fact that I might be working, you know, do like a sprint or a blitz if you will of basically trying to blast out an app in two days. So basically over the weekend, see what you can do, see what I can learn and just kind of stay fresh. So um, what we did this weekend is Prism Empire, which you can see in the bottom right, it's kind of the navy blue uh, icon. So basically um, repurposed some of the UI that was in the Prism Scroll app already. Magnus! Um, repurposed some of the UI that's in Prism Scroll already and then apply it to uh, oh geez. Apply it to Edge of Empire, uh, Edge of the Empire, which is the Star Wars um, role playing game that my brother is kind of getting into. So, basically, made a small little dice app that um, you know you can uh, select the dice you want to do, and then roll it. And then it's kind of similar. I, I mean, you'll notice that it's it's pretty similar. And then it adds up all of the symbols and stuff, and then you can save save your roll. Um, you know your different pools of dice etc and then access them later if you need to things like that so um that's kind of what what we did there so uh there is one thing that you'll notice at the end of this video on uh what we actually kind of the the big learning experience because all this stuff is not really new you know what I mean? There wasn't any like learning that happened. So I'll show you at the end what the actual goal was. Um, so in the app, there was a couple bugs that um, needed to be fixed. So I can go, go through those really quick. Um, and the update is on the way. Um, there was one bug where the uh, subclasses were not getting the proper spells. So um, I fixed that. It, it had to do with caching the information. You'll see that the now they are appearing, but before they weren't appearing. Um, also, you'll notice that they're already selected rather than in previously um, they weren't. So basically now if there's only one spell to choose and um, uh, there's only one spell to choose and you only have one choice it's going to automatically select it because that's obviously makes sense because you know it's already it that there's nothing really to do so and then if you press the reset button it doesn't reset those so that you have to press them again because they're already done so some small little uh, quality of life changes that you'll not notice but um you would notice if they were there so that's good. Um, there was some compendium search issues where it was like crashing for some random reason. I have no idea. Things just appear out of nowhere sometimes. Um, and then there was an issue that somebody mentioned yesterday where um, you weren't able to save magic items to your uh, digital sheet for some reason. Like uh, if you made an item so I made an item yesterday longsword uh, adding custom uh, customly made in the creator magic items was not appearing in the list so there was just a small little bug there that I fixed so now it's actually appearing um, which is good uh, okay there's a there's enough of a bug there Additional info Okay, but that that's good. That's so that update basically the spell fixes the magic item fix and then the compendium crashes and wait for it drum roll drum roll drum roll I'm not prepared. Whoops. Um, what? Wait for it. Do, 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 do. Look at the dog while I. So what we really learned in um, the new app was uh, notifications. So you'll see here that, um, whoops, that's not good, I went down. Um, so basically we're gonna have notifications now uh, for when a new update happens, when a uh, 
a batch update happens, things like that, so that people, it's not gonna be often, so you're not gonna get blasted with push notifications, but you know, maybe once a week, you know, once every, or once or twice every week or whatever, be like, we made a lot of changes to the batch, you know, come and re-import. Um, it's just gonna be a, a, a nice friendly reminder or just another way to remind you because I mean, our batch has bugs. So we need, and we're always making changes to the app. So things are gonna change and you need to re-import the batch to fix those issues or update the data so that it, it works with the most recent features of the app. So I think this is gonna be a good improvement and it also gets us uh, one step closer to um, cloud storing and syncing and stuff. So that, that um, it was a lot easier than I thought, which is actually really, really good. And it's, uh, th that the fact that we're uh, getting started now is is good. We're, 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 we're getting close, getting close. All right, so that's all for today. Um, another video out today, because this, this video is a day late and has the wrong date on it. This is the 19th, 19th update. <sighs> We'll update it at the end for we're just killing it um, but uh, this day this this is from yesterday there'll be another update today what should include some small improvements I got my board but um, small improvements uh, and I'll discuss those later today all right until then talk to you later